This is part three of Austin Powers. Uh. Oops, I did it again, baby! <laughs> Dr. Evil! Can I paint his Yoo-Hoo gold? It's kind of my thing, you know. How about no, you crazy Dutch bastard? I am from Holland! Isn't that weird? Yes, yes. I'm Dougie. I'm Dougie. I love gold! Are those sharks with fr laser beams attached to their heads? Cool! You mean I actually have frickin' sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads? Are you? Uh, oh, that's that's written. I can't do that. Unfortunately, my neck does look like a vagina. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my submarine lair. It's long, hard, and full of semen. No, nothing. Not even a chitter. Tough sub. Well, the future better get ready for me, because I'm Foxy Cleopatra, and I'm a whole lot of woman. <laughs> what? I didn't have any corn. Oh. What's wrong with your neck? I took a Viagra. It got stuck in my throat. I've had a stick neck for a st stiff neck for hours. I oh, thank you. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Shazam! All right, let me find my balls, for God's sakes. One, two, and three. Okay, I'm okay. Dr. Evil, we still have the ultimate insurance policy. May I present to you the very sexual and very tight Austin Powers Faja. His what? His Faja, Dr. Evil. His Farger? What's a Farger? His Faja, you know, fa the Faja. You know, gold member, I don't freak, I don't speak freaky deaky Dutch, okay, per boy. Faja, his dad. Dad is Faja. Oh, his dad. Oh, his father. So, little fella, I'm curious. Is everything in proportion? You know, your bobby dangler, your giggle stick, your general and two colonels, your master of ceremonies. Yeah, don't be shy. Let's have a look. My lord, you're a tripod. What have you been feeding that thing, eh? It looks like a baby's arm holding an apple. Good thing is, if you ever get tired, you can use it as a kickstand. Right in the kanikis! All right, gold member, don't play the laughing boy. There's only two things I hate in this world. People who are intolerant of other people's cultures and the Dutch. What? Takes your faja away! Dutch hater, and now it's time to say goodbye, Dr. Evil's orders, which for you is bad news bears, Walter Matho. You may be a cunning linguist, but I'm a master debater. You have the right to remain sexy, sugar. Oh, I hope there's a search involved. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What is this, your first day on the job or something? Look, this is how it goes. You try to attack me one at a time, and I'll knock you both out with a single punch. Ready? Go. Judo chop! Judo chop! Oh, he's good. Do you know who I am? Have you got any idea how many anonymous henchmen I've killed over the years? I mean, look at you. You don't even have a name tag. You've got no chance. Why don't you just fall down? <laughs> you know, Dr. Evil... I've always thought you were crazy, but now I can see... <laughs> you know, Dr. Evil, I've always thought you were crazy, but now I can see your nuts. I thank you. Run! It's Godzilla! It looks like Godzilla, but due to international copyright laws, it's not. Still, we should run like it is Godzilla! Though it isn't. Your spy cars a mini? It's not the size, mate. It's how you use it. I'm a sexy beast. Oh, I haven't laughed this hard since I was a little girl. Thank you. Austin Powers, you're so sexy. You're so great. Thanks, baby. What's your name? Fuku me. 
Can you kiss your mother with that mouth? No, fuck me, like this. Oh, your name is fuck me. Would you like a drink? Would you like a drink? Uh, would you like a drink? Uh, actually, I have a private bar. Here you go. Fuck me, that was fast. Fuck you. Mr. Roboto is lying to us. Tell me something I don't know. I open mouth kissed a horse once. Say what? That's something you don't know. What do you know? What do you know about my father's where? About. <laughs> hey, Powers. You better watch your frickin' self because this is one doctor who doesn't make house calls. Right, Mini Me? Hey, assholes! I'm Mini Me! Come and get me! Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Mole! Bloody Mole! We aren't supposed to talk about the bloody mole! But here's your bloody mole waking me in the face! I want you to cut it off and chop it off and make guacamole! <coughs> <coughs> Dr. Evil, you look very tight. Yes, tight like a tiger. Yes, yes, yes. You know, gold member, I don't think that's something one dude should say to another dude. Yeah, a little creepy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is a keeper. All right, you're not going to put that, in, that skin in your mouth, are you? Okay, you did. That's just gross. Yes, salty. Yes, that was good. Well, congratulations, num nut num nuts. You've succeeded in turning me into a frickin' jack in the box. Get it off. Get it off. It's dark. It's dark. So, Austin, what did you think of the opening credits? Well, I can't believe we have Sir Steven Spielberg, the grooviest filmmaker in all the history of cinema, is making a movie about my life. It's very shagadelic, baby. Yeah. Having said that, I do have some thoughts. Really? Well, my friend here thinks it's fine the way it is. Well, no offense, Sir Stevie, but you got to have mojo, baby. Yeah, hit it. Do 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 do. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> hey, assholes! Do I so? Do I have time for a last smoke and a pancake or what? Like I'd ever let Gold Member get away, Austin. Austin, gold members getting away. You know what my you know what my favorite Helen Hunt movie is? Twister. <laughs> nice to mole you, meet you. Nice to meet you, mole. Don't say mole. Now stop. I said mole. Stop. Bye. Mole. 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 Oh, shut up. Mole, 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 mole. Would you like a sh Would you like a smoke and a pancake? A what? A smoke and a pancake. You know a flapjack and a cigarette? No. A cigar and a waffle? No. A pipe and a crepe? No. Bong and a blintz? No. Well, there is no pleasing you. That's not right. Look, my Vinky was a key. Only a bloody Dutchman. While you were in space, I created a way for us to make huge sums of legitimate money and still re maintain the ethics of and business practices of an e evil organization. I have turned us into a talent agency. The Hollywood Talent Agency. You're insane, gold member! And that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. KC and the Sunshine Band... Boo frickity who Doctor Evil, can you continue with your plan? Of course, number two, our plan is Scotty Doubt. Oh come on, you're such a lame ass. I hate you. I hate you. I don't even know you, but I hate you too. And I especially hate you. You'll pay. You'll all pay. Runs away. I'd just like to point out that no one else in my gene pool runs like a girl. Using my time machine, I shall travel back to 1975 and pick up Goldmember, bring him back to the future, 
And the best part of the plan is no one can stop me. Not even Austin Powers. Not so fast. You're surrounded, Dr. Evil. Shit. Our early attempts at a tractor beam went through several preparations. Preparations A through G were a complete failure. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we finally have a working tractor beam. We shall call Preparation H. What? Why don't you just call it Operation Ass Cream, you ass? I'm sorry, did you say you want some ice cream? Yes, I'd love some chocolate ass cream. Perhaps later. Dr. Evil, I love your plan. You do? Yeah, it's a really good plan. Yes, Frau. On the whole, Preparation H feels good. What is it now? No, I totally agree with you. Preparation H does feel good. On the whole. Smashing Babel. Ba <laughs> Smashing Basil, a pimp mobile. Yes, yes, I knew it would tickle your fancy. What can I say? Cough. You really are a fat bastard. You know that hurts my feelings, you know. I tried going on a diet, you know. The zone, you know, carbs are the enemy. But the portions were so wee that I ate the delivery man. Quid pro quo, Mr. Powers. Yes. Yes, squid pro ro. I've been trying to go legit, of course. But when you're an overweight child in a society that demands perfection, your sense of right and wrong, fair and unfair, will always be tragically skewed. Did you just soil yourself? Maybe. It did sound a little wet, didn't it? Right at the end. Oh, <laughs> let's have a smell, all right? Oh, everyone loves their own brand, don't they? Oh, this is magic. Mmm, wafting, wafting. Oh, analysis. Oh, it smells like carrots and throw up. Oh, this could make a, this could gag a maggot. It smells like hot, sick ass in a dead carcass. Even stink would say that stinks. You know when you go into an apartment building and you smell the other people's cooking on each floor and you go, what are they cooking? That plus crap. He's got the Midas touch, but he touched too much. Hey, gold member. Hey, gold member. He's got a golden pad, and he's super bad. Hey, gold member. Hey, gold member. Can't do Foxy. I can't do that. I want everyone to have an Amsterdam good time. This diaper is making my rub. <laughs> This diaper is making my nuts rub together. It's going to start a fire. All right, it's getting crowded in here. Everyone out. Everyone out, come on. Not you, Scotty. Not you, number two. Not you, Frau. Not you, gold member. Not you guys back there. Not you, henchmen holding wrench. Not you, henchmen arbitrarily turning knobs, making it seem like you're doing something. Oh, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> the tiny one can't take a hint. <laughs> he doesn't understand he's small. Hi, I'm Dixie. Dixie Normus. I'm a, I may just be a small town FBI agent slash single mother, but I'm still tough and sexy. Well, Miss Normus, shall we shag now or shag later? I don't know how to be no crib on MTV. God knows I got me and my mini-me, and the GP knows how it goes. Evil's all that I see. You ask me my name. D to the Rizzo, E to the Vizzo, I to the Lizzo. I'm a crazy motherfucker. You all knew that. Austin Power caught me in the first act. It's all backwards. What's up with that? So they made me a prophecy from the dogs to the mini-me. Give me an Escalade. Two-way. Bling-bling on eBay. Domino's, motherfucker. I can't do that one. Blimey, I thought I smelled cabbage. Do we make you sleepy? Well, you make me many things, but sleepy's not one of them. Is he sleeping? Then I guess Minnie-Me doesn't want any chocolate! Boobs! Boobs, Ozzy. These filmmakers are just a bunch of fucking boobs. What do you mean, Dad? I mean, they're using the same joke as they did in the last Austin Powers movie. What fucking joke? 
You know, the fucking joke about the rocket that looks like some guy's... Johnson! Twins, Basil, twins! Yeah, baby! I'm going to get you, Austin Powers! Hey, what's kicking, Basil? A lot's kicking, Foxy. Oh, great! Isn't this magical? Ah, my titties! I give up. <sighs> got an I got an issue? Here's a tissue. I never I never knew my birth parents. They were in a car accident. My mother was incinerated. And I only survived because her smoking carcass formed a protective cocoon of slaughtered human effluence. A Belgian man and his 15-year-old love slave were looting the accident scene and came across a blood-soaked baby. Moi. They raised me to be evil. You know, that old chestnut. You look like a macho man. Village people. I have some news. It's your son. He wants to take over the family business. Oh, Scotty does. He's gotten so evil, he's even started losing his hair. Lower the globe! Lower the globe! Ow! Ow! Shiza! Well, congratulations, numbnuts! You've succeeded in turning me into a frickin' jack-in-the-box. Get it off! Get it off! It's dark! It's dark! And that's it.